Hello everybody, Brian Holder here with WYSIWYG Pages. You can visit me at WYSIWYGpages.com and i got a quick little tutorial for you about user experience. Now the benefit in WYSIWYG Web Builder, of course, is the fact that you can design a beautiful website without any code. Simply drag and drop and you're good to go. However, a little bit of code sometimes is very useful, uh, particularly when it comes to user experience. So in this example, what I'm going to show you here is this very nice contact form that I have on a contact page. This is one of the templates I'm building for WYSIWYGpages.com. And you'll see that we have a contact form with a button. And you can see that we have a nice little CSS hover effect to let you know that this button is going to do something. However, you'll notice that the cursor doesn't change. It stays on the select cursor. And typically, whenever you hover over any kind of a link on a web page, you'll get the pointer, which is the finger that points up. But we can fix this so that it shows a cursor, just like on this page. You'll see we have the same contact form, the same button, and when we go to click on it, we get the pointer. So how did I do that? It's very, very simple, and I'm going to show you right now. We go over to that page, contact, and you'll see here's the, here's the page with the contact button right here. Okay, and what we're going to do, double click on it, I'm sorry, not double click, we're going to right click on it, and we're going to hit object HTML, and we're going to put a very, very small piece of code in here. So you'll have four different tabs, and the last tab should say custom style. What we want to do is simply type in cursor, colon, pointer, and we need to end it with a semicolon. That's it. That one tiny little piece of code right here in the custom style tab will allow the mouse to change when it hovers over that. Now, you can do that with anything. We can do that here. Go to Object HTML, Custom Style, and we're going to say Cursor, Pointer, end it with a semicolon. Let's hit OK. And now you'll notice, when we go and we preview, the full name field now has that pointer. Doesn't change how it functions. Still click on it and it selects it and you can type in. But it changes that cursor and you can do that on any element. So I hope that tutorial was helpful. I know it was a very short one but it's going to help you increase your success with your users and increase their experience. I'm Brian Holder and if you like this tutorial please give it a thumbs up and I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks.